Well, the month of November so far and even much of October has been above average. You'll see that a couple weeks ago we were threatening record highs back here earlier in the month, but now the pattern is starting to go to a little bit cooler for us here. The rebound to warmer temperatures are about five to 10 degrees cooler than where we have been as we went through October into November, as we're only going to be seeing those temperatures rebounding into the low 70s for us today. And then by the end of the week, we're going below normal even further than uh, last week. We do have those temperatures upper 60s and near 70 degrees running a little bit above average as we speak right now. Just some high level clouds working the way across the area and those winds kind of out of that west northwesterly direction. We have seen some gusts along the coast 10 to 15 miles an hour, but not really all that chilly for us here. In fact, much of the Carolina is not really seeing much of a cloud cover across the area. Just a few of those high thin cirrus clouds transitioning through the area from time to time. Low 70s, that's where we'll top out at for us this afternoon with those light winds across the area. Winds go calm overnight tonight, and just like we saw earlier this morning, we'll dip those temperatures down in the mid 40s for inland spots, mid 50s along the coast. Clear skies initially early on, and calm winds could allow us to see a little bit of light patchy fog early tomorrow morning, but it's not going to be that widespread. This is our next weather maker that we're watching to see that low pressure pulling up out of the Rockies. Uh, saw quite a few tornado warnings this morning into the early afternoon hours here across parts of Oklahoma extending down in towards Dallas, Texas, and that's all going to be shifting eastbound, but losing a little bit of its punch as it does come through. It's that time of year where you get that second severe weather season when the cold coming out of the Canadian Rockies runs into the warm, humid air mass still holding on across the Gulf of Mexico. Big upper level ridge around the Gulf of Mexico. That's what's giving us fairly dry conditions here. Next couple days again, just some of those high mid level clouds working their way into the area. Clouds will gradually thicken up as we do go on through the day on Wednesday. Wednesday as that front gets a little bit closer, maybe a few spotty showers or sprinkles associated with it here. And even though this model is isn't really showing it. I think we've got a line of scattered showers, maybe even some rumbles of thunder that are going to be working the way across the area. And look at the West Virginia and Western Virginia. Yeah, that's some snow showing up there. We're done with the tropical season. Sarah has now officially become a remnant low there near the uh, Mexican state of Tabasco, and it is going to be dying out. No threat whatsoever. In fact, we've only got what uh, 10, 12 days left in the official 2024 hurricane season. I'm pronouncing it dead as we go on through, though, that front comes in here and we are going to be seeing much colder temperatures as we head on in through the end of the week. We may see another round of some light spotty showers in here on Thursday and could even see a sprinkle in here on Friday before a slow warm up comes our way with sunshine through the upcoming weekend.